Good day all. Welcome to my YouTube channel Quick Tech Master Mariner. In this video we will familiarize with JRC Eggdisc functions and working. Please subscribe and like. Share the video. The operator is showing the navigation information that relates to the vessel. The feed from the gyro compass shows as heading, which is the actual heading of the vessel. Speed through the water is displayed and obtained from a log that is water-driven, such as an impeller or electrostatic log. Course and speed over the ground are from GPS. The position and time are set to GPS. To toggle from UTC to local time, use a mouse click whilst on the time button. On the display panel, there is an area where route monitor information is displayed. When a pre-planned route is loaded, it is automatically in monitor mode, with the route visible and relevant information immediately shown in the route area of the display panel. Notice there is a pair of white arrows on the route menu, enabling the operator to slide along, revealing more tabs. Information is given on distance and bearing to the automatically selected next waypoint highlighted in blue on the chart. Manual or automatic selection of the next waypoint is available from the drop-down menu. When clicked, the route tab shows the ETA to the furthest waypoint on the route and the total distance remaining. The waypoint tab gives the coordinates of the selected waypoint, whilst the pair tab gives information on both planned and actual heading and speed. The planned rate of turn and actual rate of turn are also shown, which is a valuable way of monitoring a vessel in a turn. Sliding along the menu reveals two more tabs, entitled Calculation and Drift. The Calculation menu allows the operator to select how the ETA will be calculated, either by using the actual speed or the set speed. By setting the date and time in the ETA box, the speed to arrive at the particular waypoint is calculated and displayed. When clicked, the Drift tab shows any set and drift that the vessel is suffering. Placing an event mark is done by clicking on the icon shown on the display panel, as illustrated in the video. When the icon is clicked, a location slash attributes window opens, enabling minimum and maximum chart scales to be selected upon which the event will be seen. The time of the event is set by clicking on the time value. The comment is entered using the on-screen keyboard. When the apply button is clicked, the event mark appears. Event marks can be interrogated for information by right mouse clicking on the chart display and activating the Other Information tab. With the cursor in Select mode, information is brought up after clicking on the event marker box. If the event marker is no longer required, it can be deleted from the Location Attributes page using the Delete button.